Pac-Man animated series by Namco. It's not produced by Namco. I believe it was Hanna Barbera. Da 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 da. Pac-Man. We remember talking about how successful Pac-Man was, right? I mean, it got merchandising. It got its own theme song. Hit '80s pop song. Right after in the arcades, after we got Baby Pac-Man, we got the Pac-Man cartoon. This marks the first time that a video game was so successful that it jumped to Saturday morning cartoons. It went for two seasons. Why? Not a fan of it. I'm gonna be honest. They went from cute, cuddly Pac-Man to a Ralph Cramden look-alike. The whole thing kind of centers around Pac-Man and his whole family. So we've got Miss Pac-Man and the baby and they got a dog and a cat and everybody's kind of got like that round look to them. They had five ghosts and there was a boss that was named Mesmeron who would get the ghosts, actually they were called ghost monsters, to go get power pellets for him. Did I mention that this was the first cartoon based on a video game? Peter Cullen voiced Sourpuss. Optimus Prime was Pac-Man's cat. You look at a Hanna-Barbera cartoon, you can tell it's on, made on the cheap. Uh, you got the, the backgrounds that are reused over and over. You know, you have the really quickly drawn, you know, animation on the front of those backgrounds and they're like, Mula. It was a precursor to like Pac-Land, I guess. The Pac-Man series was actually so successful initially that ABC's rival CBS was prompted to make their own Saturday morning cartoon based on video games, which gave us, one year later, the Saturday Supercade. Never liked the Pac-Man cartoon, I'm sorry. Give me pole position. 